Yeah, sometimes you just can't avoid it. You are heading into work or you're heading home and on a dark sidewalk like the one I'm on right now. Now we have lights and I'm not alone. I'm with my coworker Mike, but police in Ann Arbor say what they're seeing is a very concerning pattern that each of these women was alone and it was at dark. This is the man identified as a person of interest by Ann Arbor police wanted for questioning in three violent assaults over the course of three days. Victims say their attacker was about six feet tall with a slim build. In one instance, the suspect actually uh, appeared from a driveway between two residences in front of the victim. Lieutenant Bonnie Thiel says women being ambushed range in age from their 20s to early 60s. One, a student at U of M. Attacks were potentially all by the same person. Police say the attacker punched and tried to choke victims in Sunday night. He took things further with a sexual assault on a woman exiting a porta john. He pushed this female back into the porta john. He physically assaulted her and also sexually assaulted her. She also was able to uh, yell for help, break free, and he then left the port john Police say in the first two cases, late Friday and very early on Saturday, women also escaped after kicking their attacker and then yelling for help, even after the man told them to stay quiet. This is concerning to us because of the frequency and the similarities between these attacks. Police are now stressing the importance of staying alert, not traveling alone, and staying in well-lit areas after dark. Patrols are being increased and again. Officers are looking for this person of interest. Victims describe their attacker as being in his 20s, six feet tall with a thin build. Now, here are some safety tips. Just a reminder from police that if you do need to walk at night, walk with a friend or a coworker whenever possible. Don't walk alone. Avoid shortcuts. Stay in well lit areas. Stay aware of your surroundings. Don't walk with earbuds in and music on. Avoid using your mobile phone while walking. Those types of distractions can make you a target. And trust your instinct. If you feel uncomfortable, even if you aren't sure why, go find safety as quickly as possible. Reporting live, I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News. Good reminders, all of them. Thank you for that live update, Jennifer Ann.